So you're balding. You look like a weathered dog who spent too many nights in the rain. Get a grip of your life already. What are you doing? What are you doing with your life? So I used to have male pattern baldness. It was embarrassing as shit. I couldn't grow my hair past a certain way where the top was so thin. I was like, God damn it. I have to shave my head now. I'm not a monk. So I've made several videos on how I reversed the hair loss and I want to give a little update. We got a secret ingredient that I've added to the mix and I'm seeing results. I'm getting a lot of compliments on my hair these last few months and I do believe I know why. I'll try to help you. So to sum things up, my hair was getting thin. I had the typical horseshoe pattern. Strangely enough, my hairline remained. The universe was nice enough to leave a line right here and then everything here was thin. It's like, thanks for that. I messed my hair. So I'll never forget walking in the kitchen one day, I saw my mom and I was just like, this is it. I can't grow my hair anymore. It was growing to about this length, but it was so thin on top, I was like, I can't even have this style of haircut anymore. And she just embraced me, she hugged me, she's like, I know, you're bald. It started thinning to a point where I couldn't grow it like this. I was like, okay, this is starting to get stupid. It was just a bushy side fro and little scraggly wigs, strings up here. I was like, what is my, this is my life now. That's my look. Straggle puss. So I went on a fruit-based diet against my will. I had to heal some stuff in my gut and it worked. And a side effect was my hair started getting thicker again. And a lot of things started getting better. Like I just wanted to heal the gut, but my joint pain went away. My depression lifted. It's like so many things changed. And the hair going back, I was like, oh my God, I'm not going to be a bald. I'm not George Costanza. He's a funny guy, but don't want to look like that. So as I started researching more and I looked into Dr. Robert Morse and he was reversing people's hair loss too. And he actually has a tincture, upper circulation, he calls it. And that's pretty much what it all comes down to. The hair loss is just clogged up head. You don't got the circulation moving. You got to get the blood to go to your head and the lymph to take the toxins away. It's this flowing river and most people are just stuck. Nothing's moving, nothing's living. The sprouts no longer, especially at the top, it's like all the gravity right up there, they can't handle it. So you gotta get that lymph moving with the fruits and veggies. And he has that tincture, which is just a bunch of herbs that drive the circulation up. So when you're thinking of hair loss, get the circulation to your head with foods, fruits and vegetables raw are what do it mostly. I didn't eat 100% raw the whole time. It'd be cool if you can do it, but think of it more like you're getting in as much raw fruits and veggies as you can. The more the better, but don't worry if you have like, okay, I'm dying, it's winter, it's Canada. I need some potatoes or something. Can I have potatoes? Can I have some goddamn potatoes? No, have your potatoes and broccoli sometimes. Eat some rice and beans. I ain't gonna stop you. Just start researching which foods clog up the blood. It's usually fatty foods that do it to me because for the longest time my hair was getting thicker and then I tried this high fat vegan diet experiment and my hair started thinning again. It was falling out. I grew it really long and it was falling out and I shaved the head. And I was like, yeah, it's thinner. What the hell? This fatty food is clogging me up. You can see it. I made a mukbang and you can just see the pattern. It's like, yeah, you're thin again. You will see this correlation between high fat dieters. And here's the thing. You're only going to go bald if you have the genetic weakness to go bald. That's the thing. It's not like everybody who eats a high fat diet is gonna go bald. We all have different genetic weaknesses. 
So some people might get stomach pain like me, others get the joint pain, other people get fat. It's like we all have a different way to behave to certain things. Not every smoker is going to get lung cancer. It's like some people are stronger than others too. It's like it seems like our generations are getting weaker and weaker. So we got to take our strength back. Protect the human DNA from falling apart. Start eating healthier, move your body, live a better life, you stupid lazy son of a Inspire them without insulting them. Vegetable police. So if you're balding, try the low fat vegan diet. Get enough protein or you may feel like shit. So don't be afraid of beans. Soak them properly. Don't eat too many or you get bloated like a dinosaur. Eat the clean diet, low on the fats. That should help start the blood flowing. Add things like the spicy cayenne pepper that drives circulation like crazy. Get Dr. Morse's herbs if you can afford it or look up the formula and see which herbs drive up there. Go to cola, skull cap, there's a bunch of them. So start taking the herbs, start doing handstands. I do them just once a week. I think that may be one of the things that helped me out here because I started doing the handstands. It just drives, it's obvious, common sense. You flip upside down, gravity will take that blood where it wouldn't flow before. So that brings me to the secret ingredient, which in my opinion will not be as effective unless you do all the other shit I just said. This is just an additional step and I've noticed the difference. So that's why I'm sharing it with you. This company reached out to me. They're like, we saw your hair loss videos. They're amazing. We have a product, you may want to take a gander at it. So it's this company that has a shampoo from India. If you want good hair, look to India because they're like hair obsessed. They're all the thickest hair on the planet. So it's all natural and it's just like this herbal oily stuff that I do believe it blocks the DHT. There is that side of it. I'm not huge into that. That's not gonna cure your hair loss where you get take like the Rogaine, which blocks the DHT. It'll work for a bit and then it'll fall out again. So that's why you have to do everything together, get the blood flowing up there. But use this shampoo and it's, here's the deal with the shampoo. It comes in a three or six month supply. They sent me the three month supply, but it's already been six months. I still have it. So you can spurse it out. Don't just, oh, I'm gonna pour it all on my head. Look at me, mom, I got hairs again. Just relax with your dosage here. So you put a little bit on every other day. There's a scalp stimulator. So you pour a couple drops on, rub it in, wait half an hour, and then you pour the oily thing on. It smells pretty good. It smells kind of like the fenugreek seeds i bet you there's fenugreek in there so it's a green liquid i believe there's neem oil in there and then you just you massage it in and let it stay for like an hour and then you wash it out do that every other day and that's what i've been doing since november 11th i took some before and after pictures so this is the before video i'm trying to show you my scalp and we'll see we'll see i'll do a little close-up maybe you can see it good enough you can see the thickness. You can't hear me anymore because the dynamic mic doesn't work unless you're right here. At certain angles like that, when the light is shining in and my hair is pointed this way, the light penetrates my life and I look like an idiot. But certain angles, it's like so thick right now. So thick. Justin Bieber thick. I've definitely noticed an increased thickness in the after and I would buy this stuff again. I would use it again. It's all natural. So if you're interested in this, of course, if you order through my link, you'll get a discount. Holy shit. That's how this stuff works. Someone sends me a product. If I believe in it, I will recommend it to you guys. If I don't, I did it with the charcoal toothpaste stuff. It was like, it didn't work for me and it was super expensive. I ripped that company to shreds. I got no shame. I will kill anybody. So this stuff, I actually noticed a difference and it's natural. It's from India. I believe in it. It's all herbal. It's like, why not add this one extra thing to your arsenal of hair loss protocols? It's a little pricey, 
It's a little pricey, depending on where you live, but you will get 10% off if you use my code. That's the code. And I probably will make, I think I make some money on it, so full transparency. If you buy it, I will get a little kickback. It won't cost you anything extra. You save money coming through me. Wow. Wow. So links are all down below if you want to try the shampoo out. And definitely start doing the diet changes and the handstands, the cayenne pepper. And you will notice a difference, hopefully. And I just want to say this. There's many different patterns of the male pattern baldness. A lot of people, I get a lot of hate on my hair loss videos. Like, you were never bald. I can see your hairline, you were never bald. Like I explained earlier, I had the hairline still, and then everything from here back was thinning. It was a weird pattern, and I've seen that in other men too. So it's not just me, some, some of us keep that stupid line. So dumb. Others get the Nova picks, where they start receding back at the corners here. Some get just the bald patch here. Some get the full top gone. It's like there's so many stupid different patterns for us horseshoe assholes. It's so mean. It is so mean. And some women get it too on the top. You never see it here. Like balding just here. That's like people go for that. The fade. Why? Life is so cruel. So there's many different patterns. I had that pattern and it sucked and it's gone now and I'm so grateful. And those are all the tips and tricks I use to grow my hair back. And I'm super happy with it now. Feels great. My battery is dying. So we're done here. Thank you so much for watching. Links are down below. Thumb up the video if you liked it. Thumbs down. If you cured your baldness by rubbing pigeon poo on your head, doesn't seem like it would work. There's no scientific reasoning for it, but whatever. Just do what you got to do. Some people pee on their hair. You can try that one too. Pee is amazing for the skin, apparently. I've done it. You pee in a cup in the shower, pour it on your head. Who gives a shit? gives a shit do whatever you got to do to get that hair back and get your health back we're done subscribe for more videos on how to get healthy and grow your hair back and get super strong oh my god and i'll see you in the next video so we're at november 11th right now so we'll check back in july Three months? That's not. We'll see you soon. Don't make me do math. And then we'll see. Is this product worth your hard-earned money? Or should you just donate it to my Patreon? For the monthly Q&A videos.